So today's video, uh, which is sponsored by FX Warehouse, uh, we are going to show how to apply the Tinsley transfers. We're using uh, the Running Dead, and these are also known as Prose transfers or Bondo transfers. Um, you actually don't need to use makeup on them, but to do a complete character, we're going to use some of the alcohol-based makeups. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is prep these pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to just trim right here. And there's instructions on the back of the box. And even with the video, I suggest still taking the time to read the directions. So there's a little plastic sheet here. So I'm going to peel it off, and then I'm going to press it. I'm going to flip it right back onto this paper. This is actually the transfer paper. If I can find the edge. can see. So this is really sticky. Alright. So then I'm going to work my way out from each piece. And you can see I'm trying to make sure this area between each piece is flat because that's what's actually going to blend the edge. You really want to make sure these are pressed on pretty good. So now we're going to trim each of these into individual pieces. So just going to do rounded edges. You don't want straight cuts because when you glue them on, then the edges might be a little bit more noticeable. Okay, so now one trick is you can hold these up to the light and see through them. And you can kind of trace certain shapes. Really for the nose piece, I'm going to do that. And I can see... So it's just a little rough shape here. So each piece has a certain direction to it, and you can see it on the box. You can actually see this one, I'll flip and be gluing onto this cheekbone. Um, I'm going to start with the nose piece. So with these, they're, it's like a water transfer tattoo. So again, make sure that's pressed down. We want it really pressed up against the paper. Then we're going to peel very carefully the plastic off. We don't need that anymore. I've got a cup of water. and I've got a pretty saturated paper towel. I'm going to just leave this wet paper towel in there for a second. And I want to make sure it's completely saturated. carefully peel with just the paper. There you go. Very carefully. So you can just take a little bit of water on a Q-tip and just blend out the edges. Keep your close. So another trick is you can use a little bit of your 99% alcohol, be careful on the eyes, and this will actually blend off any little weird edges right into the skin and everything will disappear. So the next piece is I want to do the uh, this cheek piece that's got a bit of bone and stuff sticking out. So again, I'm just going to peel plastic off really carefully and walk it over.
right, so now these are glued on. Um, you don't have to powder them. Uh, I like to powder them a little bit, uh, kind of lightly, just uh, for safety. So we're going to be using uh, the Necromania Onset palette. These are great little palettes. And they've got all these colors. You can see this color right here matches almost perfectly. Um, and these will last a long time, even these small palettes. So I'm going to use a little spray bottle with alcohol because these are alcohol activated. It has to be 99% alcohol. It can't be anything else. And then I've taken my sponge and you can see I've cut little holes in it. The other tool I'm going to use is a toothbrush. Just get a cheap, the cheaper the better. And this you could actually probably use without the sponge, but for a zombie, we might just use this towards the end. And this is going to give us our texture that's going to make everything kind of blend. So the first color I want to do is this brown color because it's going to kind of match everything else. So I'm just going to use my little spritzer. You can just pour it in there. So now I want to pick another color. So I want to go maybe the lighter color that's going to be kind of underneath. So I might go with, I'm going to just pick this blue, this like green blue, it's called Frankenstein. And we're going to go with that. I'm going to use the same sponge. And again, I'm just going to Now I'm going to go for this. Um, I'm going to go for this bright blue. It's on ice, and this will kind of give us some kind of lividity. So now I think I'm going to add a little bit more colors and then we're going to start doing some shadows and highlights and that's going to kind of tie everything in because right now it's just one color. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of the, there's this red here and I'm going to use this to kind of do some shadowing. Um, actually you know what I'm going to start with this green first. We'll start with this green because the green will kind of be like the darker version of this and the blue. Now, a lot of this doesn't, doesn't tie together yet. But you'll see once we start adding the highlights, which is next. So now, I'm going to take this yellow. We're going to use this for our highlight.
So I'm starting to get the shadows and the highlights, everything's kind of popping. So now I think I'm going to start adding some specific, a little bit more of a red uh, shadow. Because it's a little bit too green and too monotone. You can see I'm just getting this wedged in there. Even though there's the wound here, I still need to shadow it in. Because that way I get a little bit of this highlight so it kind of blends like that. But you can also see now it's starting to look like pretty mottled. And it's getting kind of creepier looking. I'm not getting too close to her eyes. I'm being pretty careful. I'm going to go over it with some cream makeup in a minute. So now I'm going to go in with a brush and really try to do some shadowing. You don't want too much uh, alcohol. So now I'm going to add a little bit of maybe some highlight to some of the wounds. I'm going to go back with that highlight color. You can see I'm highlighting this stuff because I want it to, you know, make it look even deeper. And then I'm going to take that red again and I'm going to go into these holes and make them look really deep.
so now I've got like kind of a, a good canvas here. Um, before I do anything with the non-alcohol makeups, I want to maybe hit it with one more, uh, like kind of like a texture color, and that's where I'm going to use the toothbrush. So I'm going to uh, for the texture color. I think I think we're going to go with uh, the dark green. So I'm really getting it really wet. I'm really like really getting my toothbrush in there. Get off any extra. Can close your eyes, please. And then I'm just gonna blend everything in with this little this little flick, and just keep your eye. So that's, that's So, I think I'm going to add a little bit of a red splatter to it now. I think that might kind of set off some of the highlights a little bit better and not make it such a sharp edge. So I'm going to go in a little bit with a brush in the alcohol colors, but then I'm going to go and I'm going to add in some uh, cream-based makeup. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with some um, rubber mask grease paint that I had from uh, my previous demo. Uh, you can use uh, any kind of cream-based makeup. You could use water-based, but I would recommend just sticking to either something out of a bruise wheel or some RMG, and they all look really good. So, And I really like this, this color. So, need to put, yeah, I'm going to have her open her eye and open her eyes and go, please. Okay, relax. So, I'm going to use this red, because it's kind of a bloody red, and I'm going to go back in and freshen up all these. So now I've got some blood uh, that I got from uh, FX Warehouse, and I'm just going to add a little bit, not too much on the nose, just enough to make it all gory, 
and I'm going to add a little bit of this blood over all these like dry looking pieces here where it's supposed to be. Now this particular blood I picked um, actually dries. I don't want that too white. I mean some people like it stark white, but I feel like it makes it sometimes look too much like a hole, like a uh, fake bone. But but now you can see it brings kind of some dimension to everything. So the last thing I want to do is her mouth. And I'm going to do what I do in a lot of the makeups is I'm going to start with a light color and then I'm going to back it with a dark color. like gray color here. It can be blotchy. that dark red again. So can I be puckered really tight? Alright, sorry. Alright, again. One more time. Okay, relax. Give it some more wrinkles. So I just want to powder her eyes one more time because it's still a little bit too shiny and that's going to end up coming off later. Alright, so you can see it a little bit of. Uh, powder on the nose, so I'm just going to take a little bit of alcohol on something, and I can just remove the powder. So, maybe we'll do one last little thing, and just throw a little blood coming out of her mouth area a little bit. I don't want to stop right in the middle, but I don't want to do too much either, so. So, I think we have a zombie. So, in the right light, in the right film, and you can see again, we've got these transfers here, they're seamless. Um, and these are all the colors out of the Illustrator uh, Necromania on set palette. Um, there's a bunch of other, there's other, I believe, zombie palettes, there's pirate palettes. Um, and you can kind of tune this to a different uh, look. Um, you could even do like some more neon colors and go for like a nuclear zombie look. Um, so anyway, uh, Tinsley transfers from FX Warehouse and uh, we're using the Illustrator palettes.